In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I use the eye template and circuit diagram to construct the color changing eyes for my puppet. You will need conductive fabric tape, two pairs of circuit sticker LEDs in two colors of your choice, two magnet on reed switches, and one to two magnets. To get started, cut out the eye template and fold it in half. You'll be laying three pieces of conductive fabric tape down using the circuit diagram as a guide. You may also wish to cut out the pieces for your puppet's eyes and use a screw punch to make the holes, which I've already done off camera. Remove the protective backing from your circuit tape and apply it to the eye template. The top and bottom traces will each connect to the positive side of overlapping LEDs, and they will share a negative trace in the middle. Apply the first set of LEDs and press down firmly. I often test my circuit as I work to ensure a solid physical and electrical connection. I also fold the eye template down over the LEDs and press down on the paper to leave an imprint that makes it easy for me to find the precise location for poking out holes later. Then do the same for the second set of LEDs. Test as you go. Then use pieces of conductive fabric tape over the top of the negative side of both LEDs, that center point, to reinforce them. Then poke holes where the impressions were and make sure that they're where you want them. To give my puppet color changing eyes, I've added reed switches to each of the positive leads between the circuit sticker LEDs and the battery. It's helpful to curl the legs of your reed switches to make them easier to connect to the conductive fabric tape. The reason I'm adding the little conductive fabric tape tabs to each reed switch is to make it easier to extend the tape later as I'm attaching this part of the circuit to the battery holder. Once connected to the battery, the reed switches may be triggered by placing small magnets on or near them. Here I'm testing both reed switches, which is how you get the color changing effect. A magnet placed on the top reed switch turns on pink LEDs in my circuit, and a magnet placed on the second bottom reed switch turns on yellow LEDs. Both colors will turn on if there are magnets placed on or near both reed switches at the same time. I constructed my eyes with four layers of paper. There are three that I have put on the eye template for you, but there's a fourth layer, which is a piece of translucent vellum, which will go in between the LEDs and the eyes themselves. So basically, I just made little eyeball sandwiches with the layers using double stick tape in between. Then I re-poked the holes just to make sure that the light's coming through really well. And then I adhere translucent vellum to diffuse the light. Then 
The next part of our circuit involves creating a battery holder. I ended up creating a folding paper battery holder that I could easily conceal in a cutout made in the puppet's head. I traced my battery on both sides of a folded piece of paper, which I rounded. You might also notice that I created a sticky pad on the negative trace to keep the battery in place. Next, I placed a ball of conductive tape on the positive side of the battery, and another ball in the circle that will overlap the positive side of the battery. And then I took another piece of conductive fabric tape and applied it sticky side down on top of the positive side of the battery and folded the battery holder over. So the two wings sticking out the side are positive traces. The central wing is the negative trace. Next, I inserted the battery holder folded side inside the puppet's head and adhered the wings on top of the styrofoam ball. Here you can see where I've connected the negative lead of the eye circuit to the negative lead of the battery and the positive wings of the battery holder to the positive sides of the eye circuit. You may need to extend the length of the circuit piece that you created earlier to wrap around the ball in order to get the reed switches in the locations that work best for you. Here's a better view. And here's Fred 2.0 in all his color changing glory. If I want to change his eye colors, I simply move the feathers off the reed switches and just sort of play around with it. Here's a bird's eye view of the reed switch with a feather on it. And you can see as I move it, it turns the yellow light on and off. To store my magnetic feathers, I clip a binder clip to the puppet's neck. I usually have it hidden under the feathers, but I wanted you to be able to see it. And now that you're finished, you have a family heirloom to pass down through the generations. Maybe someday there will be a Fred 3.0.